Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So, I was at an estate sale oh, a couple weeks ago and rummaging around uh, looking for different odds and ends. And I just happened to ask the lady, I said, you have any old pencils by any chance? And she says, you know what? I think there's a cigar box in the garage if you look. And she sort of showed me where it was. So in I went and here I found Muriel Cigars. God, I haven't seen one of these boxes in a long time, but it sure, I sure saw a lot of them when I was a kid. Um, it seemed like there were a lot of people in my life anyways who were cigar smokers, but um, here's what was inside. So we made the deal a couple of bucks and off I went with my cigar box full of pencils and I haven't not looked through them because I said I'm going to save that for a video so it's kind of a, a mixture of um, uh, pencils and some pens it looks like most of it is promotional stuff but there may be a few branded pencils in here so I thought we'll just quickly go through and see um, what this box has. Um, Richard Hayner, candidate for Grand Sentinel. Let's light a spark for OES. I think OES is Order of the Eastern Star. I could be wrong. Maybe um, there's a fire truck on there. So, uh, School Employees Credit Union. Madison Heights, Michigan. This, these are all from the Detroit area. There's a pen for St. Jude. I'll be interested to try some of these pens. Here's a... This looks like it was an old... I got a piece of paper here. Um, an old marker. Yeah, it, you know, I'm surprised it actually... That's it. That one's dead. Here's a pen, Veterans of Foreign War. Um, Sanford Uniball pen. Hey, that still writes. This is a fine point. That's pretty good, huh? Okay. Well, we might keep that. Here's another one. The National Children's Cancer Society. One of these promo pens. Um, let's get to some pencils. Barrage Morrison Realtors in Oakland County. So here's a promotional pencil, never never used. Looks like an old one. Um, Reelect Floyd M. Underwood, Councilman, City of Warren. Qualified by experience. Well, there you go. Again, not used. Uh, here's one from Sandusky. Yeah, a lot of these promotional pencils have not been used. Uh, Country Bay Village Pigeon. A lot of these are, we got some rounds, we got some packs looking. Oh, now here's an old one. Standard Paper Company. 2607 14th Street. That's a Detroit address and that's a Detroit phone number. That exchange WO is for Woodward, Woodward 39163, and this looks to be, um, I don't know what brand it is. It has, oh, it's very faint. Um, boy, made in the USA. It has three chevrons here on the clip. People, can anyone tell me what that is? I got to get a magnifying glass or something to really see. It's on the clip there. But look at that. Mechanical pencil. Um, yep, there's a, what is left of an eraser up there. Nice looking, hefty, fairly thick lead. 
Here's a general office pencil, 931-1200. I don't know if that's a phone number or what, where that pencil was from. National Bank of Detroit, number two. Nice. Um, <laughs> oh, I remember these. See, it's got an eraser at, at both ends, and it says there will be no mistakes to erase if you vote for Clarence E. Jones, candidate for Grand Sentinel, friendly, dedicated, qualified, endorsed by Strathmore Chapter 472. Well, there you go. Love that. That is fun. Uh, nursing. Another Floyd Underwood. Here's an old one. Oh, International IBM, International Business Machines, District 10 Education Center, Detroit 2, Michigan. So, this is perhaps one of those IBM old IBM pencils um, that they would use for testing and other things. So Detroit 2, Michigan. So that's prior to zip codes. Hmm. That's an oldie. Interesting. Here is a Pentel. Very fine point. Um, don't know the vintage of this, if any of you do. Mechanical pencil. Let's see if I can come in a little closer here. Yeah. Let's see. There's a little green eraser up top. And... Yeah, very light, very fine, very fine. Uh, Eberhard Faber, red pencil. Realtors, McKenzie Hospital in Sandusky, Michigan. Let's see. Oh, another mechanic, old mechanical pencil. Uh-huh. I seem to remember these. I remember this shape. Don't know. Someone Can someone help me on the manufacturer of this green one here? Got an eraser up top. Yep. Again, unlike the pens, these mechanical pencils still work beautifully. It's got a, I don't know how many sides that is on the top, but very comfortable. Nice looking mechanical pencil there. Ooh, look at here. A Parker Jotter. I think that's this pen, maybe. Um, all steel. And it's got the gold pencil clip. Let's let's see if this thing oh my goodness look at that. And right smoothly. Wow. That's nice. Okay. Love that. Um Trying to make this out. Multicolored Linton Pencil Company. So here's an old red blue from Linton. Uh, as I recall, they were in Tennessee. More promotional stuff. Bank, a lot of banks. Uh, let's see. Anything. Sanilac Transportation. Medical. Oh, here is an old. Blaze Dell, Carmine Red, Ben Franklin Color Fast. Hmm. 
Nice. Ooh, here is an oldie, and anybody from Detroit knows this one. Kowalski Quality Sausage. Kowalski Sausage Company. Traditionally the finest. 2270 Holbrook Avenue, Hamtramck, Michigan. Trinity 38200. Kowalski Sausage still in business. Oh, they make... They make it. They make all kind of kielbasa and hot dogs and kishka and um, bologna and lunch meat and um, you know all that stuff. And uh, they're in Hamtramck, which years ago Hamtramck was sort of a uh, a very Polish and Slavic neighborhood, and uh, so you had a lot of uh, Polish companies based there and um yeah that's cool love that that's a very detroit thing okay nice to have that uh here's one with a psalm on it uh, another national bank of detroit now here's one here is a hex around eberhard faber wood clinched number two nice um, so many of these are unused here's an old eagle eagle Murado number two these were nice pencils very nice yep and a, a hex pencil but wow is those are those are these corners soft on this old eagle Murado okay Okay, made in Taiwan. Now this reminds me of a cross pen. I don't think it is. But do you remember cross made a pen? I found one recently somewhere. I'm going to have to do a review on it. But they're twisted like this. Very th a thin ballpoint pen. Um, although I don't know that they were made in Asia. Wow, look at this. This thing. It still writes. How about that? It says something on the clip, but I can't quite make it out. Uh, and... Can't, can't read it with or without my glasses. So I don't know what that says. Don and Marge's Golden Anniversary. Well, now there's a fun gift to give out. Good for you, Don and Marge. Round pencil. Mm hmm. Gold colored. Um, let's see if there's anything else left in here. Here's an old red pencil. Looks like a color bright Eberhard Faber. USA in red, medium red. Okay. Um, Woodman Accident Life, Bank of the Commonwealth. That's also a bank that um, was big in Detroit, got bought up years ago by some other big bank, Bank of the Commonwealth. My mom and dad used to, used to bank there. Acme Glass. Here is a glider, made in USA, number two. Now, I don't know, does anyone know anything about this pencil? Glider. Looks like, wow, cannot make it out. There's a logo here of some sort, number two. Terrible, it almost looks like someone spray painted it. They did, because the, it, uh, the part of the ferrule is painted. Um, so I don't know what, who made this pencil, um, but someone wanted it green for some reason, and so they painted it green. Okay, story behind that, I'm sure. Yeah, 
let's see, Sanilac Child Prevention. Let's see, here's another promotional pen. Lorraine and John Hollenbeck, 50th anniversary. Married in 1941, and this is from 1991. So let's see, that's 32 years ago. Hello. Really? Well, I kind of am impressed by that. BMW. Huh. Kind of a fun pen. I don't know if that's the BMW car. Bavarian Motor Works. Or uh, initials of something else. Anything else hiding in here? Look at this. Wow. Um, it's a pencil. It is a mechanical pencil of some kind. It looks like a Parker. It says Parker on the side. Anyone familiar with, with this? Beautiful looking. You know, I almost wonder if this was one of those desk sets, you know, that went into a, a holder or something. Well, anyways, um, kind of a long video, but I, I really have been dying to get into this box and see what's in here. And there's some real surprises and fun. So, you know, uh, keep your eyes peeled. You'll never know when you'll, you'll run into a, a box of, uh, of pencils like this. I know, uh, my friend, uh, uh, moving about and manipulating objects. He, he, he finds these boxes of pencils every once in a while and it's, it's fun to see them. Uh, as he goes through them and it was fun when I saw this I'm like okay I gotta I gotta take a chance so anyways thank you uh, for spending some time with this unboxing of uh, old pens and pencils some probably not so old and some very old uh, it was fun uh, share like subscribe and I'll see you again real soon here on always analog